Today on the Daily Brigandi, the most iconic injury in baseball history. Now that's not two things you hear in the same sentence, iconic and injury. But Mickey Mantle here in 1951, his rookie season, sustained a big injury in the World Series. Um, so Kusur, tell them a little about the play and exactly how this happened. Yeah, so big moment, huge moment in uh, Mantle's career. So it was 1951. Mantle was a rookie at the time, and he was playing in right field because uh, Joe DiMaggio was still on the team playing center field. It was DiMaggio's last season. So uh, before the series started, manager Casey Stengel told Mantle, anything you can get to in the outfield, go after it because DiMaggio is old and slow. Yeah, he's losing it a little bit. Yeah. And he was you know, a young 20-year-old kid, and he was ready to go. So anything he could get to, manager Casey Stengel wanted him to get to. Um, so in game two, Willie Mays hit a pop-up to right center field, and both Mantle and DiMaggio are trying to camp under it. Very last minute, Joe DiMaggio calls Mantle off, and as Mantle is running away, you know, to get out of the way, he stepped and got his foot caught in um, the rubber drain cover in the outfield, and he blew his knee out. And as you can see from this picture, um, it was not a good injury, and it was one that um, really lingered and plagued Mantle for the rest of his career. We do a lot of stuff with Mantle. We do a lot of videos on Mantle. We talk about how great he is. Um, but it's also cool to think about how much better he could have been. Right, he was been, incredible. Yeah, you know, give amazing numbers: five hundred thirty-six home runs, seven World Series titles. Yeah. Um, but think about how much better he right. could have been if he didn't suffer this injury. Right, and he always told people not to complain, but he always said he always had a nagging injury that plagued him for his entire career. So um, let's talk about the photo itself. Um, they say a, a, a picture's worth a thousand words, and this is you know a perfect example of that. Mantle, right here, he's looking up at uh, team physician uh, Gaynor, right? That's his... Yes. And he's looking up, like, uh, am I going to be okay? Like, there's some hope. Like, you know, tell me I'm going to be okay and I can go back and play. You know, even you could see his left arm there, his flex, like, I'm ready to go. Yeah, he's, he's sitting up. He's on edge. Right. He's still in his uniform. Yeah. Like, he doesn't know the, the bad news yet. And what's great is, you know, I love how the physician's um, left arm is on Mantle's shoulder which obviously the doctor knows that this is a bad injury. You're not going back in, not mm. for a while. But it, he's almost restraining him from getting up too because it looks like Mantle's ready to pop right back up and go play right field, which he obviously was unable to do. All right. Um, another thing that's great about this photo is the clarity. Um, hopefully you can see it through the video here. Um, it's as good as it gets. You know, there's a type one photo, a perfect clarity. Um, I'll flip it over. You can see the back of the two that it comes from the newspaper, the New York Daily Mirror. It's also great too. You can actually see on um, the physician's lapel, you can see the Yankee Stadium World Series press pin uh, with the interlocking new NY logo, which is, you know, only type one photos. Can you get that type of clarity? All right, so we'll flip it over in the back here. And this is what I was saying. New York Mirror staff photo just, you know, explains uh, what, what it is, when it was taken. So it was, uh, you know, World Series October 5th, 1951. So that was game two, you know, his iconic injury. So mantle photos um, from his rookie year are highly desirable. Um, mantle was hyped, you know, he was given number six when he came up. Um, that's a famous story. And then he got sent back down. And then when he came back up at the end of 51, they gave him the next number, which was number uh, seven, which he would be wearing there. So Mantle was hyped. He was the next DiMaggio. Um, but anything you can get your hands on from 51 Mantle is great. Yeah, everybody loves it. Um, glad that he bounced back from the injury, even though it did linger and plague him for the rest of his career. Just another quick one. Um, before this injury happened, baseball experts say that there was never any faster base runner from the left side of the batter's box from home to first than Mickey Mantle. Obviously, this affected that, but uh, he still had a pretty awesome career. Yeah, unbelievable. Um, one of my personal favorites, um, just an iconic New York Yankee legend and iconic Hall of Famer. The man, the myth, the Mick. Um, so that's about it, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. If you have any questions, just comment below. Uh, thanks for watching The Daily Brigandi. Well, we'll see you tomorrow.